Welcome back into the studio. We are now on to the letter S. So the first thing we're going to start off with is making some sand. Now you can use sand, you can just put down a medium and then sprinkle the sand into it. But what I'm going to do is a little bit more complicated. I'm going to take a little bit of sand and I'm using decor sand because it's clean. If it were dirty sand right from outside, it would um, be, just turn really brown. And then I am going to use some of this wallboard compound. See, it's pretty. It's thicker than. You don't have to use this. You can use uh, modeling paste, but I'm trying to use up my wallboard compound. You're going to mix that in with the sand till you get the texture you're really looking for. And this is just making some texture paste is all this is. Sand texture paste. And you can see the consistency there. But I actually want more. Because what I'm gonna do is push this through a stencil. For starters, that'll cover my area. So the next thing I'm going to do is you can either add fluid medium which uh, in a mat and it would be matte or you can use pouring medium which basically is a thinner version of fluid medium but it has um, it's glossy. This is just an, an additional binding agent and I'm not going to add a lot just enough to give it some more additional bind. Now you could use colored sand if you wanted to and make colors. You can even add a coat of paint to this and make colors. That gives it a smoother consistency, better for going through stencils. Some time and you'll be 
I have no idea what I'm pointing out here at all. No clue. Um, possibly that I'm going to go, it's darker on that on the left side than it was on the right. So I was going to go back in with that gray marabou. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So we're going to interrupt our regularly scheduled S and create a skin. Now when you're creating a skin, there's many ways you can do it. This is just one way. But I like to go in with a heavy body gel through a stencil. Um, or you can um, create a design and, cu and cut it out and use the, the mask that's left over. Uh, to do one as well. So here I am just using some acrylic paint to color the um, gel medium. And you want to do this onto a wax paper or a piece of plastic so it comes up really easily. So I'm just taping down my stencil and then I'm just going to push that mixture of acrylic paint and heavy body gel through the stencil. And then I'm going to get it really thick, as thick as I can, and then I'm going to pull that stencil up and let it dry. I like to let these dry naturally because it is on wax paper. It kind of lends to having a pretty huge mess if you, um, if you do um, dry it with a, a heat tool. And then once it's done, I... If it's not as thick as I want or it needs a little touch up on the edges, then I will go th through and I will give it a layer using fluid matte medium. And I usually do that through a fine liner. And that's what I'm doing here. So I've decided that S, the terracotta um, color that I used on the S wasn't the right color I wanted after all. And so I'm putting gesso over it so that I can then come in with my marabou spray and match it up to what I did the straws. So that's all I'm doing here is just getting ready, getting it um, gessoed so I can do that alteration. You'll see that the other straws have been cut in half, so this straw I've left whole because it's going to become my pocket and the skewer my insert. just showing here that you don't have to use art stones you can use these snowflake pebbles or even um, bits of styrofoam um, beads from like a, a bean bag I mean you could use anything but I just like these art stones they've got a little weight to them um, so they're, they're wonderful to work with a lot of fun
you need to remember then when you're working with styrofoam, if you are going to use um, a heat tool on it to alter it and melt it a little bit or even to dry the surface, you need to remember that there is off-gassing. So you need to do that in a well-ventilated place. But styrofoam can be so much fun to work with. In the end, you'll see the texture that this creates. Now this is the styrofoam that was the, the cup that I used to make the sand paste. So some of that uh, surface there is the actual sand paste. You may find it difficult to put gesso onto the surface of styrofoam. I have found that if you used uh, use something like sand paste first and then go in with gesso, it will adhere better to it. Now this little piece of paper was um, some of the um, under paper that I had used when I was doing the spraying. So it uh, already had those colors on it, it had made a neat texture. And this is a little piece of sari that I stained as well to make a little sandwich of to go behind that letter. And I'm just gonna take that over to the sewing machine and lay down some stitching.
Thanks for joining me as we work our way through the alphabet of textures one letter at a time. Like this video if you do, subscribe if you haven't. Can see